Have you ever wondered about the rise of artificial brains and how they are changing the world of technology? What if I told you that researchers have developed a new kind of computing device that mimics the structure and functionality of the human brain, powered by nanowires? Hey there folks, welcome to our channel. Here we explore the latest trends and developments in the tech industry, from cutting-edge technology to the latest science discoveries. In this video, we will uncover the implications of nanowires in today's time. But before we move forward, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel and tap the notification bell so you won't miss any of our uploads. As artificial intelligence models continue to evolve, they are becoming faster and more akin to human intelligence. However, there is a looming issue on the horizon as hardware struggles to keep pace with the rapid advancements in AI. To address this challenge, scientists are dedicated to developing computer chips designed specifically for AI applications. In a significant breakthrough, researchers have now introduced a new kind of computing device that mimics the structure and functionality of the human brain. This innovation is expected to substantially enhance the performance of artificial intelligence. Today's leading AI systems, which rely on neural networks, are exceptionally skilled at recognizing patterns within large volumes of data. However, their performance is hindered when faced with insufficient data, or when the data they receive changes over time. This is where the human brain excels, prompting many researchers to explore borrowing its design principles to develop new computing models, a field known as neuromorphic computing. Researchers from the University of Sydney and Japan's National Institute for Material Science have made a significant breakthrough by demonstrating the ability to replicate the structure and dynamics of the brain using a random network of nanowires to perform basic processing tasks. What is particularly exciting about this new type of computer chip is that it suggests nanowire networks can be adjusted to operate in various regimes, each with brain-like collective dynamics that enhance information processing. While deep neural networks can already simulate the densely connected network of neurons found in the brain, artificial neurons differ from real neurons in that they only perform calculations. Real neurons, on the other hand, have the ability to recall past activity, which influences their future behavior. This built-in memory is a crucial element of how the brain processes information, and replicating it is a key objective of neuromorphic engineering. The points where silver nanowires intersect possess distinct characteristics that make them an attractive target for neuromorphic engineers. These junctions have the added advantage of self-assembling into complex networks, much like those found in the brain, with memorized junctions serving as synapses between neurons. To construct a random network of nanowires, the researchers employed electrical stimulation on wires that were 10 micrometers long and no thicker than 500 nanometers. As current flowed through the network, the artificial neurons turned on and off, altering the path the signal took. However, the switching pattern changed significantly, depending on the intensity of the input signal. When the signal was low, the pathways were highly ordered and predictable, but they were chaotic when the signal was intense. To assess if these dynamics could be used for information processing, the researchers developed a network simulation to teach it a simple signal processing task of converting one waveform to another. They experimented with changing the amplitude and frequency of the input signal to determine if it affected the network's performance. They discovered that the network performed best when the signal strength was on the verge of driving it into chaos, which is intriguing because it has been theorized that the human brain also operates in this mode. Some neuroscience concepts propose that the human brain functions in a critical state or on the brink of chaos, and some neuroscientists believe that this is where we achieve peak brain performance. Due to the connections between the wires, the AI nanowire network functioned as a single system with two processors, unlike conventional computers, where memory and CPU are separate. These physical connections acted as switches that turned on and off based on previous responses to electrical impulses, enabling current to flow through the wires. Advantages One of the most significant advantages of this brain-like computer is its low energy consumption compared to classical computers. The human brain, for example, only uses about 20 watts of power while being considered much more complex than even the largest supercomputers today. This energy efficiency will enable much smaller devices to utilize advanced AI algorithms in the future. Furthermore, the researchers discovered that the edge of chaos state was most effective when converting between vastly different waveforms. This finding aligns with earlier studies that suggest this approach is less efficient for basic tasks, but is ideal for more complex ones. 
Despite these exciting developments, these nanowire networks have a long way to go before they can match the power of the human brain. The researchers designed a basic task that has only been tested in a network simulation, rather than in real life. The extent to which the edge of chaos condition is essential to how the brain operates is also unclear. Nonetheless, the findings support the concept that nanowire networks could be a promising avenue for replicating the brain's potent and energy-efficient processing. Neuroscientists have long theorized that the brain works as an associative memory device, and that we all have a default mode of brain activity that we can access at any time. This operational mode could be the primary means by which the brain functions at its maximum capacity. As a demonstration, the team developed a network composed of circuits with two layers of sodium channels typically found in the membranes of human neurons. However, their biosensors are much more delicate than human neurons, and the device did not work well without external inputs to stir up the chaos. The chemical sensitivity, mechanical flexibility, and biocompatibility properties of nanomaterials offer new possibilities for edge computing and afferent neurons in artificial skin. Nanomaterials hold tremendous potential for creating neuromorphic computing systems that more closely resemble living brain networks, as their properties and reduced dimensionality are similar to biological systems. The technology has enabled a significant stride forward in developing computer hardware that functions like neurons and synapses in the brain while also performing real-world tasks. However, more work is required before such applications become a reality. The researchers must increase the number of artificial neurons and synapses, as well as the depth of neural networks. This may be achieved using optical chips made with silicon technology, for example. It is challenging to predict how this type of computing will be integrated into the first consumer hardware, but it is undoubtedly one of the more likely paths that artificial intelligence will take in the future. As we continue to explore the possibilities of brain-inspired technology, it is clear that the future of artificial intelligence is filled with exciting possibilities. What implications do you think this technology will have on the future of computing and society as a whole? We would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest content. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video.